Lopini, how would you explain the last two weeks between balancing football, bowl game preparation, and finals at BYU? Uh, it's a grind. I, it's, it's crazy. Like You got to be on top of it, um, but it's all worth it in the end. So, I don't know, just being able to keep the game in mind, you know, keep Hawaii in mind, getting me through finals week. Aside from football, what are you looking forward to most about making the trip out to Hawaii? I think just being able to, to know that my tests are done, like have that relief to know, like I just get time to, to spend with uh, my brothers and the seniors, just the last time to be with them, uh, to enjoy it out in, a, in paradise. It's going to be really fun. I know that uh, several of your teammates have used the phrase locked in because of what happening at San Diego State for the bowl game. What does that mean to you being locked in for Hawaii? I think just, uh, just I, I feel like we're just really hungry, you know, just um, is my best way of explaining it. Just knowing that we, we let one get away from us that, you know, we all felt like we should have had. Um, and that's on all phases of the game. And so everybody's, you know, locked in, like you said, to, to get those things right. How do you balance the distractions or potential distractions of the islands, the beaches, all the fun things about Hawaii and making it uh, a quote-unquote business trip? Yeah, I think uh, Coach Sataka is doing a great job of, of putting that in our hearts and our minds from day one of, of when we figured out we're going to go to Hawaii. He's just told us, like, you know, we're going out there to win a game. That's the first thing. That's the most important thing is to, to get a win. And so we all have that mindset. What do you know about Hawaii's defense and what they're going to try and do to slow down the BYU offense? Uh, they're a uh, physical defense, um, familiar with, like, their schemes from last year, but they, they're an improved team, I feel like, and um, they showed good things on film, um, but I feel like we, we match up well against them. Um, if we play like we can, I think we'll have a, a good day on offense. How different or how much better is their defense this year compared to what you saw last year? Uh, I feel like they're, it, it shows on film just, like, how much they've improved. Um, last year they, they came into Provo um, pr pretty well, too. You know, they were good defense, and, and we did good against them. So I think the biggest thing for us is just you know, no matter what to expect, we got to play our best. Um, because if we're, we're at our best, then we really have nothing to worry about. How would you sum up the collective running backs group right now in terms of health and being ready to go for the bowl game? Uh, we have you know, a lot of guys who are ready to go. Um, and really in practice and in meetings, just noticing like we have more able bodies than, than really ever. Like, you know, with longer time, more people can heal up. And so we're going to have guys to be able to, to do what we want, really. Let's start with you. How are you feeling and how close to 100% are you at this point in the season? I'm good. Like I, I was just thinking today, like this time last year, I was just trying to recover from a knee injury. So I feel really blessed. I feel really healthy. And so I'm just excited to leave it all on the field in Hawaii. Now, because you are healthy this time around, um, how do you not, and maybe this isn't a phrase that I should use, but how do you not psych yourself out for an opportunity like this? I think just, uh, I don't know, just not overthinking it, um, taking it one day at a time. I know if I take care of the little things like nutrition, sleep, um, treatment, all those things, that I'll be fine. So those are just, just sticking to the basics, really. Who else is with you in the running backs room that uh, you expect to play against Hawaii? Uh, so we got Tyler Algier, um, Emmanuel um, is looking pretty good, uh, being able to, to return. And then Jackson, um, we got uh, Al Alec Meza as well. Everybody's ready to go. So we have uh, a lot of bodies. <laughs> That sounds good yeah. to a lot of BYU fans and to you, I'm sure. Uh, Emmanuel Isupa is the name that you bring up. That he, He's been uh, working through some injuries. What have you seen from uh, Soup that makes you think he'll be good to go in Hawaii? Uh, I just see, like, it was kind of, you know, just I'm not really sure like, exactly how it's all going with him, but, you know, he was running around today, looked good. It's just good to have him back out there. He's a good leader. Um, he's a physical presence. Uh, he's he's a dominant player, so it's going to be exciting to see him go. What would eight wins this season mean to this program and when you try and uh, look at taking an overall step forward as a program? Uh, I think, you know, overall, like you said, that, that would be a step forward from last year, um, knowing that we could have, you know, had more. We were, like, right there with a lot of the games, um, with our strength of schedule to get eight wins. I, I think a lot of people didn't think we would have that many wins um, at the beginning of the season. So, you know, it's – it's it's awesome, but at the same time, you know, we, we're hungry for more. Like, eight is all good and everything, but we want to, you know, be double digits. We want to have that next step. It's pretty wild for me to think about the exchange we had following the tough loss to USF in Tampa after that game. 
standing now where we are, including a five-game win streak, um, what's been the biggest difference for BYU football turning things around this season? I think just, uh, you know, like you, you mentioned for our bowl game, just the mentality switch, just being locked in, like really understanding that you know everything matters that we're doing. Um, the little things matter. If we let them slip, then we're going to have the feeling that we had walking off of you know the field in Florida, and, and that sick feeling is something we don't want to deal with anymore, and, and definitely not something we want to feel out in Hawaii, so that's just our mindset. All right, Lopini, to finish up a couple of things, one, Melikalikimaka, and uh, two, let's give you some BYU Sports Nation karma, not just for the football game, but for your finals, man, to get through. Appreciate it. Thank you. Congratulations on a great season. Look forward to a big-time bowl game. Thank you.